three underlying technologies in blockchain the peer to peer network cryptography and blockchain protocol the peer to peer network first in the initial stages we were having a centralized server which had many nodes connected to it and it used to have a centralized ledger but with the peer to peer network we have each node connected to each other and no central server at all and each node is having a copy of the ledger with him so now what happens in the centralized ledger if uh, there is a transaction which has happened it will get updated out here in the centralized ledger and whatever the server says every node has to maintain that only and they have to say it is the truth but if he cheats like this server cheats to them and changes something in ledger they have to believe it but in the distributed ledger if suppose this node wants to change anything in the ledger it will only get changed in his copy of ledger and not everybody's so everybody will first verify if the transaction is correct or not then only it will get updated in each of the ledger so if there is any change in the transaction or any new transaction is added it will get reflected in every node's ledger only after it has been approved by the majority so in this a majority is needed if the majority says that yes the transaction is correct then only the transaction will be put in all the ledgers or else not cryptography cryptography is also a main part of the blockchain technologies so we'll study in this asymmetric key encryption this asymmetric key encryption generates a pair of key for an account namely a public key and a private key the public key is shown to everybody as some account number and the private key is kept personal to the person itself whose account it is and he only can access it so it's more of like a password if and this has a very good property that if a data is encrypted by a person's public key it can be decrypted only by his private key and vice versa so i'll show you an example of how this works so there are two friends of mine one is poo and the other one is rats so in this asymmetric key encryption poo gets a set of private key and a public key so this is her private key and this is her public key here rats also gets a private key and a public key the private keys are marked in red and the public keys are marked in green so now think of who wants to send a text to rats but in between there is a whole network where it might get changed or hacked so what to do in this case so what does poo do she writes the plain text then encrypt it with her private key and rats public key so it gets encrypted in a cipher text it goes through the network and then when it reaches rats she unlocks it with her private key as her public key was used for encryption and uh, she also decrypts it with poo's public key as poo's private key was uh, used during the encryption so now the decrypted message is the same as the plain text which was sent by poo so what happens like uh, why are we doing this because if we do this we get to know like rats gets to knows that it was sent by poo because it was her private key which was used for sending the plain text so rats knows that it can only be sent by poo and not anyone else and even poo cannot at a later stage tell that i didn't send it because her private key was used during encryption similarly 
uh, only rats can decrypt the message because it was her public key which was used for encryption so nobody can decrypt it except her because it's rats private key which was used to decrypt it blockchain protocol in the blockchain protocol there is something known as hashing hashing a hash function is any function that can be used to map data of arbitrary size to fixed size values the values returned by hash function are called hash values properties it is a one way function one way function means that the data which has been taken the input will give an output which cannot be reverse engineered so the hash which is the output cannot be taken and cannot be decrypted into that initial input file or data it is a one way function avalanche effect a bit like a very small bit of data change or a, a mere space can change the hash to a very different hash no duplicacy there is very rare chance of having a duplicate hash it's almost impossible uh, like the best uh, hashing functions are sha256 and kcac the sha256 takes any kind of input and gives output as a 256 bit or 32 byte hash so in this 256 bit there can be about 2 power 256 combinations and the probability of getting a duplicate value is very low so in this image you can see that there is an input cat.jpg in which there is a cat's picture which is first uh, made into a binary code then it is put into the cryptographic hash function and then it gives out the output as the hash of 32 bytes or 256 bits 